What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you awesome widgets that you can get on your iPhone using two awesome apps. And I'm going to be doing a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can get this exact look on your iPhone. So without further ado, let's get started because there's a lot to cover in this video. I'll have timestamps down below so that way you can go ahead and choose your favorite setup so you don't have to watch the full video. Thanks for watching. So this is the first widget. It's really cool because you got a Google search bar, and on top of that, you got some information about the weather. This is the next widget, also pretty nice and clean. You can see you got some info about the weather, and it looks very nice, and it's transparent as well. You can see the nice little fish in the background. Here is the next widget. This one, I think, looks awesome because I will show you how you can customize this so you can get a dark mode and a night mode look. Looks pretty insane in my opinion. And I will also be showing you this other widget, which is really, really cool. I'll be showing you how you can get all these, customize them on your iPhone, and things like that. So I will have timestamps down below so that you can skip to your favorite one. So let's get started with the tutorial. So to start things off, we're going to need an app called Widgie. So this is a pretty cool app that you can get from the App Store. It is free. And what I'll be showing you is a bunch of pre-made widgets that I found off of Reddit. I will be linking them down below in the description for you to go and check out. So first thing you're going to want to do is save one of the images down below. I'll have three images and these are for each of the widgets. So this is for the first one. You're going to want to save this image, save this one, and then save this one. Once you have those images saved, go ahead and tap on Import Widgie. Go ahead and tap on OK. And you're going to want to go ahead and choose a QR code from the files. So I'm going to be showing you uh, my favorite one first. So I'm going to tap on allow. And you can see uh, this is, I think, the coolest widget of them all. So you can see this is what the widget looks like. Looks pretty dope, but I noticed that if you set it as your widget on your iPhone, the background won't be transparent and there's actually a bunch of things you need to change in order to get this to work. So I will be showing you how to do that. So you want to tap on edit. Now once you've done that, just go ahead and tap on continue for all these little options right here. Just do that. Bam, now you're good to go, and now you can start editing these. So go ahead and tap on, you know, the background of this widget. Go ahead and tap on image, and go ahead and tap on, you're going to want to scroll until you see where it says transparent background. Just click that. Uh, go ahead and just tap on add wallpaper, and what's going to tell you to do is go to a blank page of your home screen. Just do this, hold down on the icons, and take a screenshot like that. Oh. Now what you want to do is go back to the widget app, tap on that screenshot, and bam, tap on the check mark. Now you have your background set. Now what you're going to want to do is select this part of the widget, and you're going to want to go ahead and scroll and choose transparent background. And boom, you're going to have to do that for each one of these little icons. Now what you can do is if you want to customize a little bit, you can just do transparent background, but you can force a dark mode look, or you can force a, I guess, a blur on it as well. And you could do a light mode blur as well. It's pretty simple. So I like the look of the dark mode blur. So I'm just going to do that. And you're going to want to select that for each one of these. So I'm going to scroll and do the dark mode blur for all of these. You're going to want to select like the, uh, the background. So just go ahead and do that. Bam. Do that for this one. Uh, and just keep scrolling up. There we go. So now we got our widget ready. Look at that. So go ahead and tap on the back button, click confirm, going to want to scroll out of that, and then we're going to want to add a widget to our home screen. Click the plus button, go ahead, and then search widget, tap here, and this is a large widget, so we're going to want to do the large one, like here, tap on add widget, go ahead and make sure it's placed where you would like, go ahead and tap on that, and then from here, select this widget and select where you have it placed on your home screen. Oh, and look at that. It's done. That looks clean in my opinion. I think I love the way this looks. This looks awesome. Now what we can do is also get rid of these apps, and I will show you um, a cool way to customize the apps. But first, we'll be moving on to the next three widgets. Alrighty, so we're going to want to import another widget. So go ahead, go back to importing a widget. And you're going to want to select this one, the uh, the more green one. So this is a nice uh, view of the weather. Um, you can just go ahead, hold down here, and go ahead and just add the widget like you would like usual. Now, if you have the free version, you can only get one big slot like this. Um, if you have the paid version, you can get all these other slots. But what I did was off camera, I just removed the widget I added earlier. 
and you can see it's a blank slot. So you can see you can select between these two and I'll just select this one. I'm going to choose up here and you can see now looks like that looks pretty dope. All right, the next widget we want to import, I will be, you know, doing the same process as earlier except it's going to be this purple one. So you can see it's going to be installing that. And this is, I guess, my least favorite one, and I'll show you why, but I think it looks the coolest because it's so unusual to see on an iPhone. So I'll just be adding this widget like I have been doing earlier, except just so you know, you guys can search by doing this as well. Um, so I'm just going to scroll, add this nice little widget right here, boom, add to home screen, and then you will see that you can select this one, and I'll be doing it towards the top of the home screen. So this is one that I think looks really cool. But the only issue is when you tap on it, it it like redirects you. It works, but I just don't like the animation. So the way you can fix that animation is you can just turn reduce motion on. So that's something I really like. Um, also, something I want to show you guys is how I got those really cool app icons on my iPhone right here. You can see I got quite the number of apps right here, and this is a special app. I'll show you that. And you can see when I click on it, it opens the app directly, which is pretty sick. You're going to want to go to the App Store and get an app called Launcher. Just go ahead and skip the instructions because I will be showing you that real nice and simple. You can do them if you want, but these are going to show you um, if you want to add a new widget. If you want to add a large one, small one, or a medium sized one. I'm going to be do medium size for this video, so just tap on empty because you're going to be creating a new widget. Uh, I'm just going to call it medium one, and we can add apps to our widget if we would like. So what's cool is we can add apps or we could add contacts and things like that. So I specifically, uh, I'm just gonna be adding one, two, three, four apps. There we go, just exit out of that. These are the four apps I wanna add to my home screen. Now with the paid version, you can actually do multiple apps. So on this iPhone, I have the paid version, so I have a ton of apps. Um, but the free version just lets you do four. So it's really not that bad, but what you can do is you can actually do background, go to home screen simulator for transparent, and you can do import your wallpaper and you just take that same image from before that I showed you earlier and what's pretty cool is you can even add a blur but I don't want to add the blur for the purposes of this video but you can see add this bam and you can see I can go ahead and add this widget and uh, you can see it's a nice view makes the apps looks kind of small and I, I kind of like the way this looks now obviously this looks weird because we just shifted the widget but we can move it here um, and we can redirect things. So I'll show you why this is looking weird uh, in a second. So you can see that if you want to edit the placement, you would want to choose um, widget placement right here. Tap on change and you would want to do bottom. So now what I'm going to do is remove the widget because you can see it looks ugly and I'm going to re-add it um, for, placement, for placement at the bottom. I forgot to click the check mark. We go click the check mark and now the changes will save. And now you can see right here, drag it down, bam. Look at that. I think that looks pretty cool. And the reason I like this one a little better is because the apps are actually smaller. It just, it looks different. I think it looks cool. So, um, that's how you can customize your iPhone. Looks pretty sick. Thank you so much for watching. More videos are on the way. And as always, peace.